Hi, Elias. Hi, Lily. How are you? Uh, fine, and you? I'm a little bit wet, but I'm okay. Uh, why? It's raining a lot. Ah, uh, yes. What about Mexico? Is it raining? Yeah. <laughs> Did you got in the rain before you got home? Uh, no. Okay, that's nice. Uh, so that's... you are, you're not wet. Mm -mm, no. <laughs> and how was work today? Um, busy. Easy. Mm -hmm. What did you do? Uh, well, in the morning, I was at work and very normal. <laughs> okay. And then um, I go with my um, grandma. Okay, I went to my grandma. I, I went with my grandma. How was she? Mm -hmm. How is your grandma? How oh, old? No, how is she feeling? Is she okay? Oh, yes. 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 Well, it's, today is my birthday. <laughs> your birthday? Yes. I didn't know. Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> So why you didn't tell me? You you should tell me, teacher. We have a celebration today. No, it's a normal day. <laughs> really, is it a normal day for you? Mm, yes. You don't celebrate very often your birthday. Um. Yes, yeah, but I don't um. This to party. Okay, you don't usually have, or you don't have this year? Mm, this year, because my mom uh, don't be here, and my dad uh, work, work. <laughs> okay, your dad is working, and your mom is what? Uh, no, it's Oh, she's not here. Okay. Uh, yes. No. <laughs> so that is the reason you are not celebrating. No. Okay. Okay. I understand. Mm -hmm. So, how old are you now? Twenty-three. Twenty-three. You're super young. <laughs> <laughs> Best time ever. The twenties. Yes. So tell me, how how is it feel? I mean, turning twenty three years old now. How do you feel now? I don't know. Um, I feel melancholic. You feel what? Melancholica. How is it melancholica? Oh, homesick. Uh, homesick. Yes, homesick. Uh, homesick. I feel homesick. So, you, you miss something or you think about something? Hmm. Yes. Okay, something about the past, something about the future. Both. <laughs> Everything. Yes. Hmm, that's that's funny. I mean, you should I mean, think about it. But not your birthday. Your birthday is for eating and watching movies and having cake and I don't know. I mean, it's a different day. Mm -hmm. So maybe you should, I mean, yes, homesick is important. 
think about things is important, but maybe another day. Uh, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just try to celebrate what you have, what you accomplish. So what's the difference between, I'm sorry. My, my grandmother. Me felicito. How do you say me felicito? Oh, okay, he uh, congrat me. He congrat me. Uh, uh, and my sister and Manuel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but the the most important person is you. You have to congrat yourself. Oh, yeah. You have to celebrate yourself. I feel fine. Okay, what is the difference between Lily, 22 years, and Lily, 23 years? Uh, <laughs> uh, the same person. I'm sorry? Uh, it's the same person. I don't think so. Um, what about uh, traveling? I think you're traveling more. Um, no, you're traveling the same. Um, what? No, no, I'm traveling more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, you're traveling more. What about work? You have more work experience, don't you? Ah, uh, yes. Okay. What about your health? You're doing exercise every day, right? Uh, yes. <laughs> I there do must it. be something good. Yes. Can you tell me what is different? Um, mm, well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you don't know. Don't worry. Don't worry. All okay. right. Let's uh, start with today's session, shall we? Yes. There was a little story for homework. Did you do your homework? Uh, no. <laughs> Sorry. It's, it's, uh, Ayer y el lunes estuve un poquito ocupada. Ok, ok, don't worry. So let's try it, ok? Let's try it together. So I'll do the first one and then you continue, ok? For example, if I say, I went to the doctor, I went to the doctor, you have to say something different. For example, you may say, and I couldn't drive. So I say, I went to the doctor. You say, I couldn't drive. Right? You have to continue the story. And then I told my friend. I, I what, sorry? Oh, my friend. Mm, but it has to be these options. It has to be these ones on the columns. Pero tengo okay. que Go to the doctor. No? Yes, yes. Uh, it has to be one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. No. <laughs> so number one was I went to the doctor. Number two was I couldn't drive. What is number three? Oh, my friend. Oh, I called. Con de dedo, cold. Uh, uh, I called my friend. Okay. Um... 
because but, okay let, let's try to make it sense so i went to the doctor and i couldn't drive so uh, i called my friend uh -huh. because uh -huh. because i uh, did it. Okay, because I what? Feel sick. Oh. Felt. Ah, felt. Tengo que decir en pasado? pasado de feel? Yes, it's a story, remember? Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay, I went to the doctor and I couldn't drive. So... I call it my friend uh -huh. because I woke. I felt sick. Uh -huh. yes. Uh -huh. yes, you have to use all the phrases. Oh, and um. And then, um, and you can say, for example, and then I went to college. Went to college. Uh, mm -hmm. Went to college. College. Uh, to. To be the cualquier. Mm -hmm. You can say I went to college to get a master. Mm -hmm. Okay, to get a master. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep going. Just keep going. Uh, uh, mm, and the next day, mm -hmm. I wrote about to work. I wrote what? A bike to work. Okay, I rode a bike to work. Um, uh, uh, <laughs> because I'm sorry. I'm sorry again. El pasado de half is hat. Okay, so I went to college to get a master's degree and the other day I rode a bike and or because because I have a test okay because I have a test mm -hmm. yeah. ya casi acabas ya casi acabas um, in, in this in this day in this day, in this day, in the same day, in the same day, the same day, the same day okay. uh, in the same day, uh, I bought an MP3 player. An MP3 player? Uh, mm -hmm, MP3 player. 
Okay, and in the same day, I bought an MP3 player. Uh huh. Because I love listening to music. Muy bien, because I love listening to music. Mm -hmm. mm. So. <laughs> Uh, so I want to help people. <laughs> I want to help people. I want it. Um, uh, I want it to help people. Uh, I wanted to help people. Mm -hmm. uh, because I, I, uh, yeah, because I, I, I wanted to, I wanted to watch a movie. <laughs> okay, I think I wanted to help people. It's better with I became a nurse because I wanted to help people. Oh. Okay. Mm, yes. Okay. Yes. And oh, right. And the Friday. <laughs> on Friday. Ah, on Friday. With um, I I went. I went to the movie. Theater. Okay, I went to the movie theater. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Cuesta un poquito, ¿sale? Hay que cambiarlos a pasado y hay que hilar la historia, ¿no? Yes. Yeah. Pero eso mismo pasa cuando tratas de hablar en inglés y tratas de decir una historia. A veces tardas un poquito de tiempo en, en armar las oraciones, pero es cuestión de práctica. Entre más rápidos las ar armes, pues más interesante es la historia, ¿no? Sí. Si no, imagínate, de qué que me cuentas la historia, ya hasta me fui. Ya. Yeah. Uh. <risa> me dice, espérate, espérate, I bought, I bought, y ya hasta ya me fui. Sí. <risa> so just try to practice a little bit more. Sale, esto es practice and practice, ¿all right? Sí. Yeah. All right. Entonces, vamos con la parte de speaking. Este nada más fue eh, use of language. La siguiente actividad es puro speaking. Ok. So, the question is, why do people tell lies about their lives? What do you think? Why tell lies about their family or their work? Why? Mm. What is their tell lies? Oh, tell lies is when you say not the true. Mentira? Yes. Uh, uh, because <laughs> people the people think I'm sorry. La gente. The people. Uh, they feel you? Yeah, no. I'm, I'm sorry, the people what? They feel. They feel. O sea, okay, people feel? Ajá, la pregunta dice por qué la gente miente sobre sus vidas, ¿no? Yes. They feel. Mm, they feel. They feel um, bad. <laughs> really? You think that's that's why? Yeah. Because people are are sad. sad really. With, with with their life. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know really. I don't so know. if. If I feel sad, do I tell people lies? I don't know. I don't know. What about mm. your case? What about your your option? 
why do you tell a lie? In what situation you tell a lie? Because you are sad? Well, not sad. Uh, mm, how do you say fracasado? <laughs> okay, uh, failure. A uh -huh. failure. The people feel. Como? Fracasado, como se uh, uh, Failure. Failure. Or. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so when you feel a failure, you tell a lie? Yeah, for example, uh, I don't know. Um, my cousin worked in beach. And she used to be the same uh, career. Okay. And I'm here. <laughs> and and he tells a lie? Uh, yeah. Mm, <laughs> it's an example. It's an example because the people oh, okay. uh, always comparing with another person. Come on. Yes. Uh -huh. And uh, Ben, how do you say Ben? They see. How they see? They see that. How do you say logro? Oh, achievement. Uh, achievement. They see achievement. The mm, other. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, that's that's interesting. That's interesting. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna tell you a situation and you tell me if you would tell a lie in this situation. Okay. Why would you tell it or maybe why not? All right. Okay. Okay, this is the first situation. An employee in your company is really bad at her job. She tells you a secret. She used to false documents, <gasps> false resume, false references, false carta de recomendación, everything false. Mm -hmm. To get a job. And the boss asks you your opinion about this person. Would you tell a lie or not? No. Why not? Because uh, because she no fue honesta. She's not honest. So so I I say the truth. <laughs> okay, when someone is not honest, you always tell the truth. Mm, yes. All right. Let's go with the <laughs> second situation. Let's go with the second one. The second situation is this one. Your best friend introduce you her no her new boyfriend. Okay, your best friend new, but you don't like this person because he don't listen to or he doesn't care about anyone else. And your friend has your opinion about this boyfriend. Would you tell a lie or not? A ver, mi mejor amiga me presenta su. Novio? Yes. Ah, okay. <laughs> uh, um, no. Why not? Uh, because it's a bad person. <laughs> okay. 
So you wouldn't you wouldn't tell a lie. No, I I don't lie. Okay, so yeah, I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't lie. I wouldn't lie. Yes, I wouldn't lie because. Uh, I wouldn't lie because um the the boys are bad boys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe your friend likes bad boys. I don't know. Uh, but no. <laughs> <laughs> no, because it's a bad and how do you say? Lastimar? Hurts. Lastimar is hurt. And she's going to hurt. Okay, he's going to hurt your friend. Yes. Okay, okay. Let's go with one more. Let's go with one more. In this situation, a friend buys a designer bag for $50 from a man on the street. She says, the bag usually is $300, so she bought it. Mm -hmm. You know the bag is in a real designer bag. And she asked you if you want one bag. What would you say? Uh, I... Tell him or tell. Yeah, I told him. Her? I tell yeah, her. I, I tell her. I, I tell her. I tell her. And um, it's a uh, fake. Okay, it's fake. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fake. But she knows. She knows it's fake. Uh, but how do you say la aconsejaría o aconsejar? Okay. I advise. I would advise. I would advise. And... Buy. 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 Uh, real designer bag. Okay, a real designer bag. All right. Yeah. I would advise her to buy a real designer bag because... Because... Um, because it's fake. <laughs> <laughs> well, remember, she knows it's fake. But, well, because... Because the the bag um, such as the mal material. Okay. Okay. Maybe maybe it's not fake. Maybe it's real. But the problem is not the bag. The problem is $50 on the street. That is the problem. Mm. Why do you think it's $50? Because it's a stolen. I'm sorry? Because it's a stolen. It's a what? Robado. Stolen. Okay, it's a stolen. Mm -hmm. It's a stolen. Okay, let me let me write it to you. Stolen. Um, está. Stolen. Vamos a ponerlo aquí abajito. Es que se desconectó. Ahí está. Stolen. <coughs> ya no pinta. <coughs> ya está muriendo mi tableta. Ahí está. Se dejó pinta. De hecho, hoy estaba a punto de comprar una. Stolen. 
stolen. It's a, it's a stolen. Okay, it may be stolen, no? Mm -hmm. I think that's a problem. So mm -hmm. I wouldn't advise to buy her, to buy a new one, because this one is stolen, no? Mm -hmm. All right. So are you good when someone is telling a lie? Si puedes como identificarlas? Yes. Okay, how do you know? For story. I'm sorry? For story, for la historia. What happened with the story? For example, if, if I ask, lo que sea de la de la historia que me está contando y si me dice otra cosa diferente ah pues está mintiendo hmm. okay that's interesting what about the hands when someone is lying it's happening something with the hands hands mano yes Mm, no. I think when someone is lying, they move the hands rapidly. Oh, uh, maybe. What about the eyes? Do you think when someone is lying, they move the eyes differently? Yeah, yes. <laughs> okay, so we have the hands, we have the eyes. What else? Body, their body. What happened with the body? Mm, and nervous. Okay, the body language. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So, a moment ago, we talked about tell a lie. ¿Cómo sería? Tell a lie or say a lie? Tell a lie. Okay, tell the lie. Mm -hmm. Okay, what is the difference between tell and say? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> okay, don't worry. I have something for you. Let me show you. Um, this is my friends. Son amigos ingleses. Let me show you. Okay. Do you know amigos ingleses? No. Okay, let me tell you. Okay. Uh, activar sonido. And this one. Hello. Hi, Isabel. Oh, Philip, how are you? I'm not well. Oh, what's the matter? My boss just told me some really bad news. Oh, he told you? What? Yeah, do you know what he said? No, I don't know what he said. He told me mm. to collect my things and leave. So I haven't got a job anymore. Oh, I'm sorry, but you know, I have another problem as well. When do you use say and when do you use tell? Maybe you can tell me the difference now that you don't have a job. You have some spare time. All right, so did you notice they say say and they said tell? Could you hear it? Si los escuchaste? No. <laughs> no, no se escuchó? No. Nada de lo que dijeron se escuchó? No, sí. Es que se okay, trabó okay. un poquito. All right, all right, vamos a intentar otra vez. Ahí va. Ready? Yes. Okay. Hello. Hi, Isabel. Oh, Philip, how are you? I'm not well. Oh, what's the matter? My boss just told me some really bad news. Oh, he told you? What? Yeah, do you know what he said? No, I don't know what he said. He told me to collect my things and leave. 
So I haven't got a job anymore. Oh, I'm sorry, but you know, I have another problem as well. When do you use say and when do you use tell? Maybe you can tell me the difference now that you don't have a job, you have some spare time. <laughs> All right. Uh, sí, yeah. ¿Qué dijeron well, con, con tell y con say? ¿Qué, qué dijeron? Ay, algo así. Cuando te dijo. <laughs> ok, yeah. Uh, he told you, yes. ¿Te lo dijo? ¿Puede ser? No. Y la otra dijo, what did he say? ¿Qué te dijo? Entonces, yeah, that is the problem. Parece que tienen el mismo significado, ¿no? Pero vamos a ver qué regla es. El verbo say y el verbo tell son un poquito diferentes. Va. Básicamente, you say something. Ok, esta es la primera. You say something. Necesitas algo, ¿no? Una frase, una palabra. You say something. All right? Mm -hmm. But you tell someone something. Ah, but you tell someone something. So what is the difference, Lily? I think... Uh, this... Uh, uy. No sé, the tail is um, <laughs> alguien? Yes, alguien? you need a person, right? You need a person, yes. Mm -hmm. So you tell a person something, no? Mm -hmm. And you say something doesn't need a person. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Por ejemplo, ¿cómo dirías? Él dijo que había perdido su trabajo. How would you say? Él dijo que había perdido su trabajo. Él dijo que él había perdido su trabajo. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> ¿Cómo sería? He tell o he said. He tell. Ok, he, el pasado sería told, ¿no? He told. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo sería? He told. He told. Uh, lost. <laughs> okay, he told he lost. Yes. Her job? Completo, no. completo. He lost his job. He lost his job. Ok, pero recuerda lo que me dijiste hace rato, que para eso se necesita una persona, ¿no? ¿A quién se lo está diciendo? ¿A ella? Ella no dijo, él le dijo a ella. La frase solo era, él me dijo. Ah, uh, he told me. He told me. Ah. Uh. He told me mm -hmm. he loves his job. All right. He said he had lost his job. Sí. Ok, en realidad la frase no era me dijo. En realidad la frase era él dijo. Escuche. Por ejemplo, ¿cómo dirías? Él dijo que había perdido su trabajo. ¿Ya viste? Él dijo que había perdido. Oh, ya. Yeah. Sí. Entonces, como no hay ninguna persona a la que está dirigido ese mensaje, quedó he said. Mm -hmm. He said he had lost his job. All right? Mm -hmm. un, un intento más. Correcto, pero si quieres incluir la persona a la que se está contando, él me dijo a mí, Ok, ¿cómo sería esta vez? Él me dijo a mí. He told me. Yes, he told me. Sí. 
el objeto. Ah, ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. ¿Cómo lo dirías? So he said, he told me uh -huh. he had lost his job. All right. He told me he had lost his job. Yes. You got it? Yep. Mm, yes. <laughs> okay. Want to practice more? Another example? Yeah. Yo te digo otro ejemplo. No, no, no. Are you ready? Ah, uh, yes. All right. Eso es. Un error super común es decir, he said me. Pero eso mm. nunca se dice. ¿va? Okay. He said me is not correct. ¿Sale? Okay. No decimos he said me. A lo mucho decimos he told me, ¿no? Uh -huh. O podemos decir, he said to me, pero nadie dice, he said to me, es, es muy raro eso. Ok. ¿Vale? Yeah, you always say, he said to me. Puedes decir, he said to me, pero mm, mm, es más común decir, he told me. Yeah. Y tell también se usa con muchas palabras, como contar. Por ejemplo, ¿cómo dirías? Contar un chiste. Contar un chiste. ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo se dice en inglés contar un chiste? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Tell a... Chiste. Tell... Uh -huh. Tell a what? Uh... <laughs> Tell a joke. Ah, uh, Tell a joke. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo lo dirías? To tell a joke. <laughs> Tell a chiste. ¿Qué es ese Spanglish? <laughs> Okay. That's for the cumpleaños, Lily. Ah, thank you. <laughs> How do you say? Decir la verdad. How do you say decir la verdad? Um, say, no. Say the truth. To tell the truth. So. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Mm -hmm. Lleva tell porque necesitas decírselo a una persona, ¿no? Mm, uh, yes. Por ejemplo, puedes decir, she told me the truth. She told mm. me the truth. Sí. All right. ¿Cómo dirías? Tell the truth. O contar una mentira. Mm. Tell. Uh, to tell, to a tell a lie. lie. Mm. Yes, to tell a lie. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Un secreto. Okay. ¿Cómo? Un secreto. A secret. Tell a secret. Mm -hmm. Tell a secret. Ah, yeah. Contar un secreto. Tell a secret. O sea, say es decir, y tell es decir y contar. Ok, ese es el gran problema, ¿no? Say es decir y tell es decir y también es contar. Pero a alguien. Alguien, exactamente. Mm, ok. Decir y okay, contar. Ready? Lo voy a... yes. decir. <risa> decir y contar. Yes. Pero a alguien. That's correct. Ok. Ok, you ready? Hay yes. más ejercicios. Yes, yes. Sí, 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 sí. Noto la diferencia, ¿no? I can tell the difference. Sí, sí. I can tell the difference. This is notar la diferencia. Mm. I can tell the difference. Cuando dices, I can tell the difference, you go into the gym, ¿no? Mm. Mm -hmm. All right. mm -hmm. Otra frase muy común es se nota en inglés. ¿Cómo dirías se nota? I don't know. Se nota mm. en inglés se dice you can tell. You can tell. Se nota. Ok. Por ejemplo. Por ejemplo. Se nota que va al gimnasio. How do you say? Se nota que él va al gimnasio. Mm. Mm. 
You can tell. Okay. Uh, you go to the gym. Goes to the gym. And uh, goes to the gym. Mm, yes. Yeah. You can tell he goes to the gym. You can tell he goes to the gym. Yes, you can tell he goes to the gym. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Uno más, uno más. Gym. Oh, se nota que has estudiado mucho. How do you say, se nota que has estudiado mucho? Mm, you can tell I study a lot. He studies a lot. He studied a lot. ¿Cómo sería? You can tell he has studied a lot. You can tell he studied a lot. Right. right. Está en pasado. He studies or he has studied. All right. Okay. ¿Tienes claro en tu mente? ¿Lo, lo has metido en tu cerebro? Uh, eh, ya, yeah, creo que sí. Bueno, no, estoy profesándolo todavía, pero igual si podemos ver unos ejemplos, yo creo que me ayudaría bastante. Sí, pero ven en mi casa. Ah. Practicamos en mi casa. Oh. Vale, vale. Ok. Que es muy caro el teléfono, ¿no? Sí. Ah, vale. Ok. Ahora voy. Chao. Chao. Y Isabel, ¿cómo dirías? Me dijo que tenía que irse. How would you say, me dijo que tenía que irse? Mm, ella o él. <laughs> mm, I don't know, ella. Uh, she told me. Uh -huh. She told me uh, y me dijo que tenía que irse. She told me he... What? To go? Mm, more or less. Uh, he told me he had to go. He had to go. Ah. Uh, okay. okay. Él tenía que irse es he had to go. Right. Mm -hmm. One more, one more. That's it. Dijo que tenía que irse. ¿Cómo sería? Dijo que tenía que irse. Mm. He tell? No. He said he had to go. He said. Porque no dijo a quién se lo decía, ¿o sí? Mm -hmm. Ok. La tercera es la vida. ¿Ready? Yes. All right. Eso es. Te dije que no pusieras azúcar en mi té. How would you say? Te dije que no pusieras azúcar en mi té. I told you. Uh -huh. Don't put sugar in my tea. Yes. Yes. I told you not to put sugar in my tea. Pretty good. I told you. Pretty good. Hey. <laughs> ¿Cómo dirías, Isabel? Digo lo que quiero. How do you say? Digo lo que quiero. ¿Qué es mi casa? Digo lo que quiero. I tell. Uh, you, uh, I tell. Uh, uh -huh. Lo que quiero. I tell. I want. More, more or less. Pero mira, hay un detalle. I say what I want. I say. Uh, no. ¿Por qué say? Porque no dijo a quién no dijo a quién se lo dirigía, ¿o sí? Oh ya. Yeah. Solo dijo digo lo que quiero. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, recuerda cuando no decimos a quién va dirigido usamos say. 
Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, one more, one more. La, la cuarta es la vencida. De, y punto. ¿Cómo se dice y punto? How do you say y punto? Y cállese. <laughs> um, mm, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can say that's that. Or that's it. I say what I want and that's that. And that's that. Okay. Y punto final, ¿no? También puedes decir full stop. End of the conversation. Full stop. Full stop. Punto. ¿Sale? Punto final. Mm -hmm. Punto de la discusión. End of story. End of story. Dime la verdad. Dime la verdad. How do you say, dime la verdad? Y le da sus cacho cachetadas. Piu. Tell me the truth. How do you say, dime la verdad? Uh, tell me the truth. Otra vez. Tell me the truth. Hello. Hello, hello. Uh, hola, ¿sí ¿me escuchas? Uh, bueno. Okay, tell me the truth. Yes. Oh. Tell me the truth. Tell me the truth. Te dije que me dejaras en paz. Okay, how do you say Te dije que me dejaras en paz? I tell you Te dije que me dejaras en paz. Uh -huh. uh, I tell you that to leave me, leave me uh, in peace. <laughs> yes, leave me alone. Ah, <laughs> alone. Yeah, okay. leave, when let me peace so or leave me alone. Okay. So, can I get you a drink? Oh, it's you again. I told you to leave me alone. Yes, I told you to leave me alone. Okay. Es como lo que te dije que me dejara sola. Mhm. Okay. All right. Uno más, uno más. ¿Y cómo te dirías, Isabel? Él cuenta chistes malísimos. How do you say él cuenta chistes malísimos? Mi alumna la Lili. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he tell um, a jokes. Like really bad Super jokes. Bad. Super bad. Ah, super, super bad, bad joke. jokes. Ok, ok. Ahí va un chiste malísimo. A ver si lo entiende. ¿Sale? Ok. ¿Do you want to hear another joke? Uh, not really, but go on. What time did the man go to the dentist? What time did the, go, did the man go to the dentist? I don't know. What time did the man go to the dentist? All right? Yes. Do you know the answer? No. Okay. In the morning, 12 o'clock? I... What kind of joke is this? Do you want the answer? No, but go on. 2.30. 2.30. You get the joke or no? No. <laughs> <laughs> Two thirty. Two thirty. Entonces la pregunta es, ¿a qué horas vas con el dentista? Pues, two thirty. Cuando el diente te duele. Two thirty. Ah, ya. Me vio raro el chiste. 
Yep. Two thirty. You tell terrible jokes, man. Yeah, you tell terrible jokes. <laughs> bueno, al menos ya sabes un terrible joke para contarle al, al compañero Manuel, ¿no? <laughs> dile, dile. What time did the did the man go to the dentist, no? Mm -hmm. Y a que te diga, I don't know. ¿Y tú qué le dices? 2.30? Dude, hurty. Uh, dude, hurty. Yes. Dude, hurty. Dude, hurty. Mm -hmm. It's a really bad joke. Yes. <laughs> okay. Entonces, ¿sí se entendió la diferencia entre say y tell? Mm -hmm. Yes. So what is the difference? Uh, the tell is para decírsela a alguien. Mm -hmm. Say, pues no a nadie. <laughs> yeah, simple, right? Yes. ¿Qué cosas puedes decir con tell? I tell you a secret. Hmm? Muy bien, tell a secret. ¿Qué más? I tell tell you a joke. Pretty good. Uh -huh. I tell you a good um, notice. Notice. A good news. Ah, a good news. Oh, yes. I told you I had news. Yes, that's correct. Mm -hmm. Pretty good, Lily. You got it. Pretty mm -hmm. good. Okay. Entonces, el día de hoy repasamos un poquito de estos de elaborar oraciones en pasado, que necesitamos todavía trabajar más, y aprendimos la diferencia entre tell and say. Yes. Ok. Ahora te voy a compartir un pequeña, una pequeña lectura. Y viene con una pequeña frase al inicio. Let me show you. Uh, ok, este es el tema del que vamos a hablar. Let me show you. ¿Qué dice la frase del título? ¿Lo puedes leerla? Read one thousand books in walk one, one mile. Yeah, one thousand miles. ¿Qué clase de oración es esa? Lee mil libros y camina mil días. What is that? What is the meaning? ¿Qué alguien diría eso? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. ¿Qué más lees, más sabes? Más o menos. ¿Por qué crees que diga walk a thousand miles? I don't know. <laughs> okay, this is what we call a saying. Es un dicho. Ah, ok. Dale, walk a thousand miles refers to travel. You have to study and travel a lot. Dale. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que vas a conseguir, Lily? Yo necesito que traigas al menos unos ocho de estos. English. Hay sayings que solo funcionan en inglés, ¿vale? Ok. Hay algunos que son lo mismo en español, pero a mí me gustaría que trajeras ocho en inglés. Ok. 
All right. Y vamos a discutir eso en la siguiente clase, ¿no? El yeah. tema va a ser studying abroad. ¿Sabes qué es studying abroad? No. Studying abroad es cuando te vas de intercambio. Ok. ¿Sale? Entonces vamos a hablar de cómo está studying abroad in Europe, studying abroad in United States, qué cosas necesitas y el vocabulario para studying abroad. Okay. Este texto que te comparto es un buen inicio, pero si tienes chance, empieza a buscar sobre esto, sobre studying abroad. ¿Va que va? Y te traes tus ocho dichos, ¿sale? Yes. Right. Do you have a question, Lily? No. Okay. So, is, this, is our next class on Friday? Tomorrow? Uh, I'm sorry? Tomorrow? Tomorrow? Yes. No, porque una vez que el lunes no pude tomar la del lunes. Okay. ¿Cuál es mañana? Oh, tomorrow. Es que escuchaba tomorrow. Uh, yeah, but let me see. Vamos a ver. Um, tengo una clase de 6 a 7. De 7 a 8. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Tomorrow. No me ha contestado mi alumno de la mañana, pero... Acá está. Day. 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 Ok, lo que pasa es que... Sí, yo creo que sí, mira. Mm. Sí puedo de 6 a 7, no hay problema. ¿Sí? Uh -huh. Aquí le pongo Lily. September 21st. Le ponemos... Eight. Ok. Y te genero tu enlace de una vez. Six to seven, right? Hello? Ok, te estoy enviando el enlace justo ahora. ¿Me puedes decir si, si ya te llegó, Lili? No. Oh, ya, ya, ya. Ok, ese es para Thursday. Ok. Va. Entonces, see you tomorrow. All right. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much, Lily. Thank you. Have a good night and happy birthday again. Thank you so much. <laughs> Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.